Well, folks, we are back in Bocas del Toro, and I'm here with this crazy gringo. What's so, going on? Austin, Mr. Dupanama himself. And it's just good to be back in Bocas. A little different stay this time. We are smack in the middle of the action in uh, downtown, and we're going to be here for five days doing whatever we want. a couple of my friends as soon as I walked off the boat and then my truck is coming in in the morning so as soon as I get that we'll be heading to the beach and we're gonna be getting some business done here as well connecting with a few clients connecting with a few potentials and just trying to make it all worth it you know not just all play but not just all work as well all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy so let's get this as I mentioned before this is a little bit of a different stay we are in a place called Azul Paradise they have graciously extended an invitation for us to stay here for a couple of days and then we're moving to another place another location for about two more days before we head back to Bokete this is actually nicer than I expected and I want to thank them greatly for allowing us to stay here this is quite the spot let's see what it looks like at night I must mention though that they have two locations this is one, you know, smack in the middle of everything in, in downtown. And then there's another location they have pretty much off on another island. But that place, it looks like something straight out of Bali, right? I'll try to see if I can get some footage out of it. But the other location is pretty much off on this island called Caranero. I'll let the footage speak for itself. My God. editing a vlog for Boca Chica to upload tonight to release tomorrow morning but we have to go as in myself and Austin we need to go meet with the owners of this hotel pretty soon so there is a quarantine still at 10 p.m. here till 5 a.m. so I guess the people of Bocas can't get too crazy with the partying but um, it'll be fun to meet the owners Well, that was a delightful dinner. The owners seem really nice, really, really nice. We have a lot more to talk about, but uh, this is pretty much wrapping up day one on to day two. Tomorrow, I'm actually heading out on the coast to see what the waves are looking like. I heard there's a big swell around, so I'm gonna grab the truck, grab the board, back there, and bolt. So, let's see what the morning brings. Now I gotta upload that vlog, charge up for tomorrow. Good morning. I'm gonna get some real surfing done today. Not the child's play you'd have seen in my last Bocas surfing video, but the real deal. This place has real size today, so you'll get some epic, epic action. And I'm here with a member of the tuna crew, Owen, and he's gonna kind of show me the ropes and getting out there, and today has proper size. Check this out. Oh! Okay, so the rain is coming, and I need to put this gear away, so. Cameras down, boards out, let's do this. Alright, so I had a really good session. Really good session. And now I'm rushing to a meeting. And then maybe if I come back early enough, I will go back out. Get some more waves. So we are leaving the Azul Paradise in town and going to the one on the island in uh, Bastimentos. And that's where the resort is. And huh, well, you'll see it for yourself. Not that I have a great day for filming, but that place is pretty epic. Who needs to go to Tahiti when you can go to Azul Paradise? 
You'll see what I mean. Welcome to Azul Paradise, the resort. Not the best of days for filming, but still pretty. Tony! It seems simple, but there's something extremely special about that part of this experience. Looking up at the sky and just hearing the water right beneath you. That's some pretty cool stuff. So, stepping off the boat. It's way more than I expected. I honestly thought that that was all there was to it. But it's a proper little city in here. <laughs> like they have restaurants, they have bars, they have houses. I mean, it's empty now. Thanks COVID, but I mean, aside from that, this is a true little paradise. I love it. Like, it's not the most epic day and it's still amazing. And there's a big swell around so there's a lot of activity the water isn't as clear as it could be or it usually is um, the skies are very gray but yet look at this so yeah if I can have a bad day like this every day I'll take it island itself here has shared the native community so we're gonna have a walk down there to see what it's like I heard there are nice little waterways and we get to meet the people and so on so this should be pretty interesting okay let's talk about it I am seeing a lot of interest in the comments about people coming to visit people coming to consider relocating and want to rent somewhere or just people who flat out want to relocate and buy property here asking me about properties the different areas to live in and so on so my sponsor inside panama real estate has given me an email address that you can reach out to me and i can channel you to the right people the right properties and so on so you can get your dream location and your dream home or your dream property be sure to email me at richard at ipreinfo.com and we'll get right back to you with all the information that you will possibly need for finding property here and possibly relocating. So I have an incredible team that I'm working with. Shoot me that email and I will get you the right person. I'm very thankful to these folks at Inside Panama Real Estate for giving me the opportunity to provide you, my subscriber base and my viewers, with the information that you would need to relocate and find the properties that you so desire. Thanks folks.
those little piggies make me miss Maria. So what I believe is happening right now is that uh, the folks from Azul Paradise, the owners, they have family in the US that have been donating baseball, bats, gloves, etc. to the village here. I think her cousin owns baseball batting cages in the, in the US and they have donated a bunch of the supplies from there, I guess when they're turning over their stock. They donated to the village here, which is pretty cool. These kids seem pretty stoked about it. Yeah, that was a pretty cool experience. Those kids are hilarious. They love the baseball stuff. So I got to play a little bit with them. I've never played baseball in my life. So the first time I played baseball, it being in a Nobe tribe in Panama is pretty cool. All right, time to head back to mainland. All right, so that's the end of this Boca strip. I am really sorry if it feels a bit scattered and all over the place and not following any particular story of any type, but um, it was quite the spontaneous trip and it ended up being a whole lot of fun. Lots of surf, big waves. So now I'm all surfed out. I did not get much footage of the surfing because I was in the water. I experienced something for the first time in my life. So I'm out there paddling, looking for my next wave. I just see this explosion of color on the horizon. I'm like, what's happening out there? Lo and behold, I witnessed my first rainbow rise ever in my life. For the following 30 minutes, this huge, very defined, very intensely colored rainbow rose while we were out there. And it was just mind blowing to see. I really was tempted to get out of the water and grab the camera and take photos and videos of it but i kind of enjoy being immersed in the good waves good vibes warm water warm rain and epic rainbow rise so Boca it was nice thank you again for all the good energy and good waves and i will be back very soon to get even more waves and do some more stuff meet some more people too there are many people reaching out to me and i need to get in touch with them when i come back so, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Let's do this.